Hey, what's going on everyone? This is John with John Stillman Creative and I am bringing to you my very first tutorial that I have ever done. So don't be too harsh in the comments. If you're going to comment something ugly, better be funny. All right, let's start here. This is the end product. This is what we're shooting for right here. All right, starting picture right here. First thing we're going to do, make a copy of the background. Why? Because I always like to keep the original just in case I need to go back to it. All right, let's select our subject here. You will see that these little marching ants all the way around it. No need to do anything else. Let's select and mask. Several options you can choose from here to as far as what you want to see. I like to use the overlay setting with the pink background. Easier for me. Whatever you like best, use that. All we're going to do here is just zoom in. We're going to go around the edges and we're going to clean things up a bit. I'm sure there are some slightly I'm sure that there are some slightly easier ways to go about doing this, but I like to get up close and try to take care of the smaller details by hand. Sometimes, don't worry too much about all of that because I know what I'm going to do is going to hide most of that, and so these little small details around the edges aren't going to make much of a difference at all. But for what we're doing here, I'm going to go through here and clean everything up as best I can. Everything's looking pretty good. The better quality the image, the easier it is to do these cutouts. Photoshop does a pretty good job of taking care of the edges most times. everything out. Helmet has a few areas. Let's get those real quick. A little bit more here. Alright. A couple of spots right here on the edge of the helmet. glasses a little bit on the chin you'll notice that a lot of times what it doesn't get are these little crevices right here we can get in there nice and easy and get those out all right looks like we have a pretty solid image there so you can output these to either a new layer or a new layer with a layer mask. A new layer with a layer mask is going to allow you to go back in and, and edit a little bit more if you need to. If you're pretty sure you have what you need, you might as well just hit new layer. It's going to be easier to work with. All right, so we have our subject cut out. So let's just drag him over and somewhat center him on the page. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create a layer behind him. This is going to be our background layer. And whatever color you want to make this based on the uniform, if you want to kind of match that color up, we're going to set this to a, to a blue. And you can sample a piece out of there. I know the settings I used before I'm going to go ahead and put those in. I liked that color blue. And here we go. All right, so now we have our background. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the players layer. And let me name this layer real quick so we know what we're dealing with here. Background. All right, so let's click on the, layer, the player layer. And let's take that into the camera raw filter. 
And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop the highlights, I'm going to come down and I'm going to increase the texture, increase the clarity. This just gives it a kind of a raw, gritty feel. Sometimes I'll drop the vibrance down just a little bit, play with the shadows based on the picture that I have. And I won't do too much because it's not really adding or subtracting anything that I really care for. So this just gives me a nice gritty feel with a little bit more texture. Hit OK. We're going to bring this back in. All right, next thing we're going to do is we are going to add some light rays. So I have some brushes that we're going to use to do this. And we just got to come down here, light beams. Um, I found these online. Um, I forget where I found these at. Might have been Deviant Art somewhere. So we just want to find a light ray that we're going to like the look of. So check that out. Maybe that'll work. I don't remember exactly which one I used for the original photo. So we're going to change the angle of it because we want this coming downward. And I'm just going to make sure that that's as big as I want it. Something like that. So we're good. So we're going to change the color of it to white. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create another layer behind the player and in front of the background. This is where we're going to put our light ray at. Okay. So this one, the light ray goes from the top all the way down to the bottom. I don't necessarily care for that. Oops. So what I'm going to do here is drag that up a bit. I don't want it all the way down. I want it to about right there. And you're going to see that my brush has a pretty harsh line down at the bottom. That's not an issue. So we can take our eraser tool and we can come over here and we can just use a soft edge to kind of blend that in. Alright, so let's name that layer so we know what we're looking at here. Light ray. Alright. Now, what I want to do is I want to take that light ray and I'm going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer to the light ray. And I'm only going to do it to the light ray, so we're going to create a clipping mask so it only affects the light ray. And what I want to do is hit Colorize, and then I want to change the hue to somewhat of a blue. So let's play around with this. That's a little... purple there. Let's see. It's a little bluer. There we go. So play around with that. Play around with the hue saturation until you get to a spot where you're pretty comfortable with what it looks like. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a layer on top of that. This is going to be our dust layer. This is going to give us the, the little dust that flows around in the light ray look and let's change our brush all right there we go so let's make sure we have it set to white on the brush and let's just see what it looks like when we do that so that's a bit much a little more than than i would like so let's find one that's a little bit lighter on the on the dust and play around with it. Depends on what kind of brush you have, where you get your brush from, what you're looking for. And you can always manipulate this. We can come back in with the eraser tool and, and we can erase some of this down to where we like it. All right there we go. That looks pretty good right there. All right. Um, 
Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another layer above the dust layer. We're going to call this ellipse. Let's come over here and grab our ellipse tool and we're going to create an ellipse behind the player's head and shoulder. Hold the shift key down while you're dragging that out and it'll create a perfect circle for you. And before we do anything else, let's come over here. We're going to go into the properties panel of the ellipse and we're going to hit the mask icon. Come down to the feather option. We're going to increase the feather quite a bit to make that ellipse glow. Um, depending on the size or resolution of the file that you have, um, those settings will be higher or lower to get what you're wanting to get. Um, so let's see that there. And then we're going to move the ellipse a little more centered behind where it looks good. There we go. I like how that's looking. It's a little, a little bright for what I'm going for. So I'm going to reduce that down, the opacity down a little bit just to knock it out a bit. There we go. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to create another ellipse. We're going to call this ellipse bottom, and we're going to drag this ellipse. I'm going to drag it down here towards his waist and just drop that opacity a little bit more on that one. And what I'm looking at here is I don't like the light ray brush that I used. So I'm going to come back over here to the light ray layer and get my eraser tool out and I'm just going to get rid of that light ray. I don't like it. I'm going to find a different one. So let's come back over here. Go back to our light ray, light beam brushes. Come back through here and try to find a different one. Maybe that one will work. We're going to have to change the direction of it. Here we go. Let's change the size and see what we get. And I'm not sure that I like that brush. Let's go find another one. That's not what I'm looking for. Too harsh. Too much. keep going here that one might work around all right here we go let's see if that one gets it for us that one's a little better there we go so we're gonna have to change the hue saturation settings a tad bit because that's a little more blue than I want it to be those settings a bit. Drop that opacity down a tad bit. Oops, not on the hue saturation, on the light ray. There we go. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here. All right, let's add a blank layer above the player. Then we're going to come up to our menu up here, edit, fill. We're going to fill this with a 50% gray. And then we're going to change the blending mode to overlay. So what we're going to do here is grab our burn tool, shadow set at exposure 100%. We're going to change this, make sure this brush is small. And what we're going to do with the brush is we're going to go over all of the creases and shadow areas of the player. And, and the reason we're doing that is I like to I like to emphasize some of that. It adds to the to the gritty nature of the photo and it brings out the details and just helps to make the photo jump off the page. So let's just go over those quickly over all the creases and folds and 
some of the areas in the lighter sections won't show as much. Like if we go here, you'll see a little bit, but it doesn't do exactly what I'm wanting. But we'll go over all these areas just to kind of bring those shadows out a tad bit. All right. Just a little bit come under the chin here. That area. Then we'll go over the little creases in his gloves and around the bat. And when we're done, what we'll do is we'll hide this layer and see what that actually did. So you can see how it just added a small touch of detail. Now, if we were to use the burn tool directly on the player, then it's somewhat destructive. You can't just undo that. If we do it to this 50% gray layer, then if we don't like it or we want to undo it and redo it, all we have to do is change this layer and we didn't do anything to the player layer. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a solid color adjustment layer over the player. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on the layer mask icon. And we're gonna hit Command I um, on a Windows machine. That would be Control I. And what that does is it inverts your layer mask, basically hides it. Um, white, the color white reveals, the color black conceals. Remember that. Okay, so we've basically hidden that color layer. What we're gonna use this layer for is going to be our, um, our rim lighting. So what we wanna do is take our brush and make sure that we're sitting on white. So we've gotta click the layer mask and come back over here and change our brush. We're gonna change our brush to a soft round brush and we're going to make it small because we're just going to go around the edges make sure that it's white here white going on black is going to show so we're going to come over here we're going to paint a little bit right here and what that's doing is coloring all over the place we don't want that to happen so let's bring this layer down right above the player layer and we are going to a clipping mask out of it so that we're only seeing what we're painting on the player itself now that's an that's an extremely bright color on there so we need to choose a blending mode so depending on your photo the colors the the, the brightness the contrast everything that you have going on you'll want to go through these and make sure you pick the one that works the best for you we don't want something so bright that it looks overexposed so overlay looks pretty good. Soft light looks okay. So let's let's go with overlay here and let's come back and click on that layer mask. Make sure that we're set here. And then just go over those areas that you think should, should have a little bit of that rim light around it. Anything that that light's gonna touch in the background should probably have a bit of a glow to it. Right in the front there. All right, maybe, maybe the back side. Here we go. Just a little bit of glow. And if it's a little too much, if it's a little too bright for you, we can always drop that opacity down just a tad bit. All right, it's all to your taste and to your liking. But none of this has been destructive. None of this is doing anything to the original photo. The only thing that we did to the original photo, the player that we cut out, was the camera raw filter. That's kind of permanent. Um, so like I did with the background, the original, the original photo layer, if you wanted to make a copy of that player before we did the camera raw edit, then you can always go back to the original cutout of the player um, and have that in case you needed to. So um, anyhow, so we've got our color fill layer over here. We've added some rim lighting. Um, I mean, just keep going on that until you're happy with, with what you're seeing and where you're at, okay? Um, the next thing I'm going to do is 
above the player, I'm going to add another adjustment layer, and this is going to be a color lookup layer. And what we're going to do here is select off this first drop down, we are going to select the moonlight layer. And so that right there is just going to incredibly change the way this photo looks. Now, makes the player pretty dark. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the mask, the layer mask. And I want every I want the majority of the photo to have this this tone. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this layer mask white. We're going to come over here and we're going to make sure our brush is selected, change our color to black so we can conceal. Then I'm going to take our brush and expand it. I'm going to make sure that our hardness is at zero. I want it feathered out. I don't want it solid. I'm going to feather it out, right? Then I'm going to drop the opacity down. Let's start at about 46, somewhere around there. And I'm just going to kind of color over the areas that I want to reveal. And if I want to reveal a little bit more up here, then I can go right back over it a little bit. Just reveal a little bit more and keep the rest of this um, concealed. And if I came through here and just and I did too much, okay, then all I've got to do is come back over here, change the brush color to white, and then color back over that mask just like that. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's what I did to achieve this look. We didn't use any actions. We didn't use any external backgrounds. All we used was the photo that we had and a few different brushes and adjustment layers to achieve this artwork. Hope everyone enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I will be doing more. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, in the meantime, you can check out my Facebook page at John Stillman Photography or you can look me up on Instagram at jstillman underscore photography. See you next time.